Okay, so now we're ready to cover the non-self-starting Han method, but um, I think it's unfair uh, to cover the non-self-starting uh, Han method without mentioning first the self-starting Han method. Uh, I, I, it doesn't name something called the self-starting Han method in in the book, but but it, it mentions the the Han method and and um, the, and specifically this this iterative uh, Han method and and so. Um, just to draw out the differences a little bit more between uh, implicit and explicit methods, um, implicit methods we're going to call methods that, that use iteration. And so Hans method, if we just used a single iteration, if we just did the predictor and then the corrector and that was it, um, that would be an explicit method because you're just using one point, you're predicting the next point, end of story. But when you have this back and forth, uh, which happens with with iterative Hans method, which which we had mentioned earlier. When you have this back and forth, you have that iteration. That is um, what makes it an implicit method. And so, let's start examining the differences here. So first, uh, the predictor for the self-starting for the regular Hans method, the self-starting one, it uses Euler's method uh, as the predictor. We just say uh, y i plus one is equal to y i plus f of x i y i times h. That's Euler's method that uses uh, that, that predicts our our y i plus one value. But then we use that y i plus one value, and um, we stick it in here with this, and and we compute our f x i plus one y i plus one. Um, and we compute this uh, this trap. We use this trapezoid rule, and we compute that, and that's our corrector. And if we iterate through here, um, uh, then then we have an implicit method. Now, uh, the non-self-starting Han method. The big difference here is look at this term right here. This is term is y i right here. This term is y i minus one. So what we're doing is we're using a point before. So this is a point that we, that we didn't even have, so we're going to need both y, i, so we're going to need more information to be able to do this. Um, that's why it's called non-self-starting, is because this is information we, we may not traditionally have. We have y, i, um, but we may not have y, i minus 1. Now, once we get started, we'll, we'll have it, um, but we may not have it uh, a priori, which is why it's called non-self-starting. And so the big difference here is this uses Euler's method, in the in the predictor step, whereas the non-self-starting Han method uses the midpoint method using y i and y i minus one instead of just uh, just y i as in the Euler's method. And the corrector uh, the corrector ends up being basically uh, the same thing. And then we iterate for j equals one to m. And so that's what these these m's and and, and j's uh, it's, uh, superscript j's are all about. The other thing that happens so so this this just to to give it a graphic to drive home this this non self starting concept the concept of using a value that we had previously I want to show a, a little graphic on that so with a one step method you would traditionally just have the point x i and then you predict forward and you come up with this uh, x i plus one you just you just go one step one shot you're done. Now the multi-step methods, in contrast, they they say, well, why are we gonna why are we gonna have uh, only one step? Why are we gonna think that there's only one step? We can we have more information than that, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, uh, I know what the value is uh, at x i. Now now we may not at the first time point, but at later time points we're gonna say, well, yeah, sure, I know the value y i and I also know the value y i minus one and y i minus two y at x i minus two and and so forth because I just I just solved for them and I'm coming forward I'm moving forward and I get to this point it's like well why why am I going to totally ignore uh, these points that I already know here in the next in the next step I I'm going to use those and so that's what um, that's what we tend to do in the multi-step methods is we use these prior estimates to get a better shot at coming up with this xi, um, well, this yi plus one value. Um, and then of course uh, we still do the predictor corrector uh, iteration, um, but but this is the critical difference between the the regular self-starting methods and the non-self-starting uh, methods.